if you watched our previous video, you know last time we tried it was flooded. So we're gonna try again. Um, we weren't planning on doing this again yet until later on, but there are a lot of protests going on in the city. So we had to pick a park that was out of the way of all that. So oh, we've got lots of lavender growing over here. And sage. Yeah, lavender and sage. It's purple sage. Mm. I know because I grew it at my house last year. The seeds were called wild purple mountain sage, which is quite a mouthful. Um, right now it's actually about 7 p.m. and it's only in the mid 60s and the path is nice and shaded. Probably gonna have to do more evening walks. Earlier in the day when it was sunny it was well over 80 some degrees and Beowulf would not have been able to handle that. But right now he seems to be doing pretty good. He's got his water bottle secured on him. <laughs> Fifi doesn't like when you put things on her harness. She gets very mad. And today the swinging bridge is open. Come on guys. Yay. Come on guys. You did not make this trip for nothing. Woo! <laughs> Really, always in the bushes. There's a sign over there. It says resource protection area. Do not treat for mosquitoes. And you can kind of see down there. It's a perfect spot for mosquitoes. Hey, there's a some kind of weird bird in there. Oh, that's awesome. That's a blue heron, if I'm not mistaken. No idea. So there's the bird. We think that's a blue heron. It's not moving, but it is a part of the natural native species to the area. What are you whining at? Here, 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 take her. Take her. Come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take get her. her. Take her. Come on. No. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're gonna have to carry her. I know. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, she is shaking. Holy hey. crap. Hey. hey, hey. I never come thought down. she'd have that reaction. No, come on. Come on. Okay. Come here. You're fine. You're fine. Daddy's gonna carry her. Come on. Come, you're fine. So Bayo's just kind of like, let's just get over this over with. He's kind of pulling me a little. Are you okay? Did your bridge scare you? Well, we're never doing that again. Holy crap. No. That was a big no. Are you okay? Last thing, we need her slipping her harness in the middle of the park. Yeah, no, we'd never find her. She'd go chasing after deer, bunny, rabbits, whatever the hell she could find. Yeah. Okay, that was kind of scary. <laughs> Aww. I'm so sorry, Fifi. I didn't yeah. know she would hate it that much. Yeah, she... That's the first time we've ever taken her across it, and quite clearly the last time. Wow. Baby girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> On days like today where it was hot and sunny earlier, it's always better to walk on natural path if you can because concrete can get very hot very quickly in the sun. And hold the temperature. And hold temperature. So we always, when it comes to summertime, we don't walk on the paved trails, we walk on the natural trails. Some of the stone trails are okay. But even those aren't great for dogs' paws as the little tiny stones can get jammed between their feet. So if you do walk on a, a stone trail, always make sure to check your dog's paws. Make sure that there are just no little stones that got stuck in there. They can cause infections and 
obviously make it hard for your dog to walk. Okay, so we took a loop trail. We're coming back up on the bridge. We learned our lesson. We are carrying her across. <laughs> she is not stepping foot on that bridge. In fact, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Gotta pick up the little princess. <laughs> Come on, Bayo. We're gonna have to cross again. You okay? Mom will carry you if I have to. You're 70 pounds and it's gonna hurt, but I'll do it. You're right here. I'm not letting you go anywhere. She's <laughs> such a little princess dog. See, he's just kind of like whatever I'm walking. Mommy's walking across it, so I walk across it. Her, she was like, uh, no. <laughs> Hi, Fifi. <laughs> So if you see what probably looks like sticks on the camera, those are actually bat houses. And the Metro Parks built them to help combat the mosquito population coming in off the various lakes and the Swan Creek. 